Live? We're live! Live from Debbie's Kitchen! Everybody Let's sing along! And a friend. Sing it while you wash your hands! Cooking with Debbie and a friend. Yeah. This is my best friend right here! We'll talk about food, marriage and parenting too, self care and budgeting and the sweet, sweet life, yeah! Cooking with Debbie and her friends. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Debbie and her friends. Thank you so much for joining. We're going to be trying to read the comments here as we go um, because I can't see that far, but we want to welcome everybody. And I see some people are already coming on. Uh, Trav, you want to see who's coming on? And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get to. We already have people. Monica. My sister. Hey. Um, Love the song, Daddy. Oh, my God. Let me try to get on, on my phone. So okay. Can do. Talking about ingenuity, I was talking to my sister, and she just had a hankering for some coffee cake. And what this program is all about is to pull things from your cupboard and figure things out. Nobody wants to spend any more time in the grocery store than they have to. So she got yellow cake mix. I have a box. And um, because Bisquick and flour, it's really hard to find right now. And she went ahead and improvised and made a coffee cake with her, excuse me, with her um, yellow cake mix and some brown sugar. And um, yeah. So. Yes. Um, you can see your I can see my comments. Now if I only had good eyes. <laughs> Where's my glasses? Ah, here they are. Are you guys like me? You have a million pairs in every room. Let me say hi to everybody. Hey, Monica. And Debbie Dennison Burns. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Um, Cindy Tito. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Mike Cano. You guys, if you want to laugh about something, go to Mike Cano's Insta and sign up for it because he is hilarious. He is so funny and he's got some great funny concepts during this pandemic. And um, he's just pretty wonderful. Um, anyway, let's see. Who else? Martin Villanueva. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm nervous because Martin is a professional chef. And I want to give a shout out to some professional chefs. Hi, Martin, um, who make beautiful and creative dishes. That is not this show. This show is let's pull out of your pantry what you have. I call it pandemic cooking and supermarket sweep shopping because we're so fast on how we shop. Um, but Martin Villanueva is a wonderful, wonderful chef. And I want to give a shout out for another Facebook. Um, he doesn't go live, I don't think, but it's called Cooking with Carlo. And Carlo is another very experienced chef who makes very fancy dishes. And so, but again, that is not this show. This show is tell me what's in your cupboard and let's figure it out. Um, I know I love Mike too, Debbie Dennison. Jill, my cousin Jill. Hello, Jill. It's so good to see you. Um, and Vince Ramirez. Hey, Vince. Hi, Cynthia. So I'm going to get to your uh, comments. Um, do you think you can open this can of clams for yes. me? Thank you. I got a sous chef. So when I went shopping for beans and rice, dry beans and rice, they were all out. They were all out at the beginning of this whole uh, safer at home business. So I found these soup mixes in the dry bean aisle and it has everything you need in there to make soup. You can make it vegan and just empty this into a pot and start cooking it. Am I draining or, this, Debbie? Yes. And there's a, wait, 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 don't lose my precious juice. Hey, <laughs> this is a family show. Hey, so put the juice into the pan. Let me finish talking about this first. So these soup mixes are out there and they're available. It seems like everybody's pulling the dry beans and dry split peas and stuff off the shelf. But this has everything you need. All I did with one of these for split pea soup is I put a ham bone. I had one from Easter. I put a ham bone in my crock pot. But right there in my crock pot and uh, put the ham bone in there, put six to 
eight cups of liquid, depending on what you want to, how thin or thick you want your soup. No seasonings whatsoever, because everything is in this package, and I just put it in there, and I put it on high, and that'll cook for five hours. I also have this wonderful thing. I checked on Amazon, and they have them. These are liners for your crock pot. So when you're done cooking, your crock pot is still pretty clean. You still have to wipe it down, but the inside, the crock, the part that's hard to clean, it's ready to go. Reynolds Wrap, and there's four of them per container, and they are worth all of their money. Can my sous chef pull that over? So again, these soups. Let me see who joined. Um, clam juice. Yes, we're going we're gonna to make something with clam yeah. juice. All right. So my beautiful assistant, Carol, who is standing here. Hello, Carol. How are you? <laughs> Carol, where the hell does so, that name come from? Uh, so, what I have sautéing in this pan over here, and the lovely Carol will... will uh, yes, you speak to the camera. <laughs> um, what I have in that pan over there is some chopped onion and some chopped garlic. And I have been watching a lot of videos on Instagram of a Chef Jose Andres, who is brightening this world one dish at a time and he is amazing with his service and how he provides food to people that are displaced and hurting and what i all that to say is that he takes his garlic and he just smashes it and throws it in so for those of you who don't want to be cutting up garlic you or can just onions. no you got to cut your onions trav um can you tell them how amazing this smells though the garlic and the onions this house my mouth is watering. This and olive oil. Smells so good. Um, and olive oil. So all I did is I got my big pan, a couple uh, turns of the olive oil in there, your chopped onion, your smashed or chopped garlic, and some salt and pepper. And I want to show you a little trick with salt and pepper. Um, go ahead and sing the song, Travis. Salt and pepper. Salt, 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 salt. Salt and pepper. Yeah. That's all I know. Okay. So what I do is I have a little duo here and it is salt and pepper and I use a spoon to sprinkle it on rather than taking the shaker or dipping in with my hands and something like this because we got to save every scrap now. We got to save every scrap. We don't want to be run into the grocery store because we are short on salt, right? So I use my spoon and I season whatever I need to season and my hands never touch the seasoning. The seasoning stays nice and clean and ready to go for the next dish. And um, it's just easier and more sanitary to use it that way. Okay, if this is starting I, to roll and boil, what do we do next? We just, just let just, it go ahead and do They're just playing. We threw some clams in there. We threw the clams. Doing this. Did we throw the clams in? We did not. Oh, we threw the juice in. The juice is bubbling nice. Now we're going to throw the clams in to play with everybody. All of the clams. All of the clams. Okay, so we've got this bowl from uh -huh. uh, another can. Yep, from two cans. That's two cans this. of clams. And that is uh, clam. yeah, clams. Clams as well, but yeah. I didn't, I just, I got the juice out from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have three clam, can, three cans of clams. Say that fast. We have three cans of clams and their juice. Hey. I uh, threw the juice in with the aromatics, the onion and the garlic, and some parsley. And I don't want to go to the store just for parsley that's going to come home, serve me twice and die. So I have dehydrated parsley. I want to say a little something about uh, spices right now. Um, if you don't have fresh onion or garlic, uh, parsley, celery, um, this is the time to order. You can order online and have these things delivered. Again, there's not a big run. I'm not going to send you to Amazon if these are short, right? So chopped onion, dehydrated onion, onion powder, chopped garlic, garlic salt, parsley flakes. These all help you to make wonderful meals without having to go and buy the Fresh stuff. Okay, so the clams are in there, and they're just playing around with but the do juice. But they taste as good? Don't eat anything. Do they taste as the... good? What the, do you mean? The dried stuff, the parsley. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Oh, but do know with your dehydrated and your salts and your powders, they go a long way. A little goes a long way, so go with less than you think you need, and because you can always add more. Okay? Um, did you did you do my pasta? My pasta can be great. It's ready. Okay. Not, it's hot. Not, I always tell them it's hot. 
Everybody gives him um, pot holders for Christmas. He never uses them. He just scalds his hands. I'm a man. Oh, shut up. So, um, I don't rinse my pasta. I don't rinse my pasta. And the reason I don't rinse my pasta is because then whatever. What are you doing? Wash your hands. It's al dente. Wash your hands. That's so, what you're supposed to say? 20 seconds. Al dente. Oh, I just rinsed off a noodle. Wash your hands. We're showing everybody how we're staying safe. Come here. What do you say? Wash your hands. Yes. Wash your hands. It's not a oh. game show. Give me the thing. People are saying wash your hands. Oh, Jesus. That's For 20 minutes. That's my sister. For 20 That's minutes. My sister Monica yelling at me about my hands. <laughs> 20 minutes? Just seeing if you're listening. Um... What's great about this dish is because you can use any pasta you can find. Linguine, spaghetti, um, egg noodles, uh, any, any pasta you can find. Again, I don't rinse my pasta because any sauce will adhere to the noodles a little bit more. I also keep my pasta and my sauce separated and I build it as we serve dinner because that way we can put the pasta back in the fridge that we didn't use and there it's ready for the next meal. Maybe somebody wants to put a little marinara on it instead. So I'm using clams and uh, you can use clams if you have them. Um, Shrimp. I'm walking over to my freezer right now. Shrimp. Look at me walk to my freezer. Oh, just could you. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little freezer pull here. You can do peas, you can do shrimp, you can do uh, frozen broccoli if you have it. Think outside the box. This dish can take you different places. So you can do a vegan style with the linguine noodles or your spaghetti noodles and then do that aromatic, the onions, the garlic, and then throw in some frozen peas or throw in some shrimp or um, cherry tomatoes, little cherry mm. tomatoes. What? Look who's watching. Who? <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh, Yolanda Castro is... <laughs> Hi, Yoli. We love you. My friend Yolanda Castro is watching. Okay, okay, come on. We're 12 minutes in. We, we're 12 minutes into a 20-minute show, people. We gotta keep it moving. So those of you that have been watching my show and... and and listening to uh, my updates on my friend Yolanda. That's her sitting up and watching in the hospital room. She is, can't touch my face. We prayed hard. We played hard for you, hard Yolanda. For you, and now we have to go back to church because I think we made promises that, I did, I made a promise, so I'll be back in church. Um, but she's watching and we love you and, um, we love you so much. I'm so glad you're watching. Whew. Yolanda was on a ventilator for uh, seven days. Another wonderful friend of ours, Mindy Peters, who is a nurse, um, uh, is taking care of her, which is just so amazing. Um, so we are making, um, we're gonna make this in your honor, Yolanda. We love you. We're gonna take um, it to our family? Uh, I took, oh, I took something yesterday to your family, chicken pot pie. So they said, hold off on meals, Yolanda. All of a sudden, this turned into a telephone hey, call with Yolanda. This is now starting to rolling boil. What are we doing here with Okay, this? we're going to turn that down. Okay. It looks nice and thick. So what, what's this here? This is flour. This is um, white flour, another precious thing that we're trying to conserve. You can thicken up your sauce with flour if you like. You can add white wine if you like. You can add chicken broth or veg vegetable broth. If you like, um, I like the sauce just like that. I like it just the way we made it right now. We're gonna get our pasta onto a plate. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I got a little. Whew. Whew. Um, yesterday, yesterday I sent out a Facebook question about Instacart or grocery shopping. Which one are you doing? Um, it's a weird time right now. We don't want to be out there more than we have to. Oh, okay, we got our pasta on here. And am I, am I doing something with that? With yeah, that? we're gonna put the sauce on top. No, I mean the, you've got flour. No, I like the it, flour? just like that. Okay. So here's our pasta. Sorry, I'm all over I the place. This. Yolanda, you threw me. <laughs> 
I would have not had it any other way though. Oh, so that was just clams, clam juice. If you guys could smell this, this is like, you know, you're, you're, you're missing so much. It looks beautiful, of course, but I'm, oh my God, this smells so amazing. <laughs> the onions, the, the, the garlic, the clams, um, it's hard not to want to dig into this right now. It's steaming hot. So And before we put that um, in the sink to wash, you know what I do with my pan like this? Uh, at the end of dinner, I'll take some clean pasta and throw it in there, and it gets the last of the sauce there. So my husband's making all kinds of fun of me because I'm not wasting a thing. She keeps saying it's depression. Depression era cooking. Depression era. So here we go. Okay, we've got five minutes left. Okay, we've got our clams. We've got clams and clam sauce the onions the garlic then because i live with somebody who likes something spicy <laughs> you can put some red chili pepper flakes on there not too much a little goes a long way that goes with all your seasonings just use what you think you might need because you can always add more it's really hard although there are ways to desalt something and then a little bit of of the parsley for color Taste it. You taste it. You've got to taste it. It's, uh, that's what they do on all the shows, right? Well, what are they doing now is is uh, family members are tasting. Oh. So all this is is some minced clams that you have and you're covered if you do. Yeah, get some of that clam. I'm trying. Oh, you're good. That's good. Okay, right I got to hurry. You got you got to hurry. Did so, you answer the questions about Instacart? So some people really like their Instacart. It depends on where they're shopping and from what stores they're shopping from. But I did get more stories about how Instacart did. <laughs> I got um, I got quite a few upsetting comments about how Instacart did them wrong. Everything from somebody taking their groceries from their bags to their groceries being six days late, then another five days late, because you're standing in a queue, you're standing in line. Some of you had awesome experiences, so I encourage you to look at the post before this video about Instacart or grocery shopping, because some of them gave the stores that they're not having a problem with. So please go look at the comments and see what stores they're not having a problem with, because it could just be, you know, a matter of choosing the right store. In this house, we grocery shop we go in and we grocery shop um it gives me a lot of encouragement to see cashiers like my daughter pilar who's a cashier to just smile and thank them for what they're doing and it's encouraging to see how things have changed at the grocery store pack your patience you're gonna have to go with a lot of patience because there are lines outside of the store and inside the store uh, the lines look longer because we're doing six to eight feet apart. So they look longer, but hang in there. Bring your, your phone, put in your earbuds, listen to some music, and just know everybody there is trying to do the same thing you're doing for your family. Make a list of what you want, and I'm going to make a list of things that you should have in your cupboard so you can do pantry pulls. You're not relying on fresh food all the time because at some point, Let's say you're 10 days in, you want to do four more days at home, two weeks, you got to start pulling from your pantry. Remember, don't forget about the frozen food aisle and the spice aisles. Don't forget, those are your best friends right now. Frozen meats, frozen fish, uh, frozen vegetables. There is no um, limit on the frozen meat. And, and one, one, just one other thing, um, don't forget to get yourself something nice to drink or to eat, whether it's ice cream. Debbie got me some car salted caramel ice cream, which is amazing to have, you know, as a treat. Um, she'd been talking all week about uh, wanting a soda, so she got some little cans of Diet Coke. Treat yourself to those little things too. Um, we might go. We might go a little over. Is that okay with you guys? Just like a few no, minutes. No, don't do it. Um, we got one minute. Uh, but it's so important. Okay, do it. This is a big deal to go out grocery shopping. I posted what to take with you grocery shopping. All the reading I'm doing is saying gloves are kind of useless when you're grocery shopping, soap and water. So make yourself a little kit with some bar soap or a pump or whatever you have and wash your hands and dry them before you go in. Then I took paper towels to go over my, my uh, cart handle. All the carts are being cleaned too, which is a beautiful thing. So I've got that. Then take what you get. 
This isn't the time to touch all the food, right? You find the apple, you put it in the bag. That's how you do it. You're not out there lollygagging, you're doing it. Now, what happened yesterday is I came home a little, um, it, it's weird. My darling friends, it is, it is weird to go out there now. I know that. And I had to come home and just kind of get my head back into the space because it took me two hours to shop. So we put everything in the garage and then I went upstairs and took off everything and threw it in the dirty clothes and I showered head to toe. And my husband unpacked everything. With a mask. With I the, separated everything. In the wiped, garage, wiped yeah. Wiped it all down. Um, even, even took the fruits and vegetables out because we saw an excellent video online about putting your fruits into uh, water and then scrubbing them off. I mean, we should be doing this anyway, right? Um, all the vegetables on the other side. So we really just, I spent a lot of time doing what Debbie had done the week prior with all the groceries, just to get everything cleaned up and ready to be put into our cupboards, free from any sort of um, uh, exposure. Ralph's gave me sanitizer wipes going in, nice. You're starting to see more and more stores doing things. Our daughter works at Target and they put up plexiglass between you and, um, and uh, the cashiers. Also, don't worry about money. Don't worry as far as cash and you need to go to the bank and withdraw cash. The safest, most sanitary thing for you to do right now is use your debit card because you're not exchanging money, which is basically made of cloth. So, um, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Margie and to um, Susan Crandall. They're both hardworking, lovely nurses, and we salute you. We thank you All for of our, our first responder friends, nurses, firefighters, grocery store um, workers. Grocery, <laughs> grocery store workers. They are. They're I know. The I know. I know. It just sounds silly in a day and age where grocery store workers are first responders. Right. So, um, that's uh, our message to you. Thank you to particularly uh, Margie and And Susan everyone Crandall. Who, who signed on today, thank you thank for being you a so part much. of the show. Hold that up to them. We are 12 minutes into it. We're 22 minutes into it. 22 20 minutes. And um, after this, I'm going to video Travis making popcorn just for you, Susan Crandall. We're going to make popcorn in a pot. The old fashioned way. Okay. All right. Bring that over here and show these people that amazing dish. Should I dance? Cooking with Debbie and the friends. Cooking with Debbie and the friends, yeah. for you to answer. Thank you everybody for the comments. I really appreciate it. Mwah.